Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Mix. Halloween is next week, so let's design something Halloweenish. And what's more Halloweenish than ghosts? Well, maybe pumpkins, but I did pumpkins last year. It's also fun to do scary things during Halloween, so let's do something scary and jump into the sculpting environment. Here's the ghost we'll be designing. We'll start with the sculpting environment and then jump into the modeling environment to make the eyes and the mouth. Of course, I 3D printed it and went with a clear PLA here because it's a ghost. I was able to simply just pop it off the build plate when it was done. I was a bit concerned uh, about the top being able to uh, close all the way without leaving any gap, but I didn't have any problems with that. The whole thing pretty much printed flawlessly. I turned off the lights and put an LED tea light inside, which just by chance ended up fitting perfectly. And I'm very happy with the way it came out. All right, let's go ahead and model this thing. We'll begin by jumping into our sculpting environment. So let's go up here on our toolbar and click on the create form button here. And that you can see brings us into the sculpting environment where we'll now go to create. And let's start by creating a plane. So first we need to select our plane and we'll choose X, Y here or that green, red. And then we're going to create this plane by starting at the origin. Just drag out and then click again. The size doesn't matter because we're going to enter it in the dialog box here. We'll do 50 length by 50 width. And we're going to do length faces and width faces of 5 and click OK. All right, we'll zoom in a bit. And the first thing we're going to do is round off these corners. So we'll click and you'll see we can select the vertices. And so we'll just click delete on each one of those. Make sure you're selecting the vertice and not the face or the edge here. So we'll do all four. And now we have a rounded rectangle here. And next, let's go to a top view. And I'm going to drag select from right to left here to select uh, these squares in the middle and then orbit out a bit. And let's go ahead and right click and we're going to choose edit form. And we're going to get this uh, little manipulator uh, widget here, as you can see. So what we're going to do is take the arrow and drag it straight up. And we're going to go 30 millimeters. Let's go to a front view. Um, so you can see that's 30. And then we're going to click on the white space to deselect and then click again. Uh, this time just selecting the middle square there. And let's go up another 30 millimeters. Okay. And now we're going to zoom in, grab that center. Uh, ball there that's uh, the center point and let's go ahead and scale this out a bit by dragging it out like this and then we'll grab now this top arrow and let's go up another 10 millimeters so that looks good right there and then we'll click OK here all right next let's select just this edge right here we're gonna right click and go down to insert edges and we get this uh, little button here that we can drag and place this edge anywhere we want. We're going to put it right here and click OK. And now we're going to left click to select this face that we created. Right click. Let's go back to edit form. And now we're, let's go to a front view here. And we're going to um, go ahead and drag out a new face here. So we're going to hold Alt and then grab this uh, the plane here. You see how we have um, this flat surface. We've got one, two, and three, um, those little squares. We're going to grab that front square. And at the same time, while holding Alt, we're just going to drag up. And that's going to bring out a hand. So drag it up a little bit. And now let's rotate to this side here. And we're going to take this plane here, this uh, square facing this direction. We're just going to drag that to the front a little bit. Okay, so the ghost is kind of like reaching out for you here. Uh, let's do the same thing with the other side. Um, so we'll click OK, grab this edge, right click, go up to insert edge. We're going to drag this up, click OK, grab that face, and we'll right click edit form. Let's go to this, uh, actually we'll, we'll go to a front view. And then we're going to grab this uh, square here, the one that's uh, uh, facing us. Hold Alt and then drag that out to get that hand out. Okay, now we can rotate and let's go ahead and 
go to a left view and then we'll bring it to about the same location as the other arm okay so that's our two arms reaching out um, you know so that that's looking good if we wanted to make them smaller we can just right click again go to edit form click over here and maybe maybe drag this back a little bit and maybe do the same thing with this one as well so I mean this is up to you um, you know it's it's a ghost so there's no right or wrong shape here um, just make it how you want it and so that looks that looks pretty good all right so now that we have that let's go to a top view and we're gonna right click go up to edit form and this time I'm just gonna click on again the vertices here just those uh, uh, little points and just gonna grab that top square just to drag it in this uh, you know ghost is kind of like it has a, a sheet you know it's just basically like this floating sheet so um, we're going to go ahead and give this some curves so I'm just doing every other edge and just kind of you know you can move it around you don't want to go too crazy like this where it starts overlapping because that'll give you some errors um, just a little bit so we'll do do that and then we can also do the same thing not just with the points but with um, these edges here um, so if I right click I get that whole chain um, going across and I can take that and move that kind of in or out here to give that whole length a little bit of curve you know if I want just this section I could do the same thing with that Let me grab this plane here kind of push it out move it in um, so yeah have fun with this we'll do we'll do a few more here just to make it look like it's kind of uh, let's see sometimes it's just playing around you know I'm not even sure you know what kind of look I'm exactly going for but I'll just play around with it and say do I like that no not really let's go back up um, so okay I won't get too crazy with it but um, you see you get the idea here so okay now that we have our basic shape of our ghost uh, let's go ahead and finish this form so we can do that by just clicking here where it says finish form and now we're into the modeling environment and so let's create some eyes so to do that let's uh, create a sketch so we'll go to sketch create sketch and to select that plane I'm just going to remove this body here and a light bulb and toggle it to remove visibility and then I'm going to select the uh, blue red or that ZX plane and now we can bring the body back and let's go ahead and draw some eyes I'm just going to draw two circles we'll go to sketch down to circle center diameter circle I'm going to draw one circle here another one here um, now depending what you want if you want them to be lined up or the same size you know if you want like a wacky ghost you can make them skewed in different sizes I'm going to make the eyes the same size so I'm going to grab my equal constraint here and then click on one circle and then the other one and now they're equal I also want mine to be lined up so I'm gonna grab my horizontal constraint here and just click on both of these points and now they're both on the same horizontal line so I can move them up and down together and let's give them a dimension so I'll hit D for dimension click on the circle drag out I'll make this four millimeters since I made the constraints equal they'll both change to four and I can position these I can you know as far uh, wide apart as I want I'm not gonna get too crazy with that by measuring it I'm just gonna eyeball this eyeball this eyeball okay and now let's um, do the mouth so I'll grab another center diameter circle and just go somewhere right here this time I'll do uh, the diameter a little bit bigger I'll go with five millimeters uh, maybe move this a bit where I want it okay now stop sketch I've got my eyes and my mouth I'll uh, untoggle the body visibility go to create extrude select each of these profiles let's bring the body back by turning on that light bulb and I'm just gonna take this arrow drag that out change my operation from new body to cut and click OK and there's my ghost but right now uh, it doesn't have any thickness so we're gonna go to create down to thicken select our shape and I'm gonna do a thickness of um, 
uh, we'll go with 0 0.8 millimeters and see how well that prints. That's basically two uh, shells, um, two nozzle diameters around. Um, we'll see how that works. If not, I may um, increase it, increase that thickness a little bit. Uh, but we'll click OK to try that out. Uh, one thing I would be concerned about is, is it going to um, be able to close this head here because I'm going to go with no infill on this so you know can it close that part without leaving a gap I think we'll be okay but let's go ahead and uh, give it a shot we'll send this to the printer all right let me know your thoughts on this video if you have any questions just leave it in the comments below I'm going to try to incorporate more sculpting projects into my tutorial. So if that's something uh, you'd like to see, make sure to subscribe so you can catch those videos. And if you're serious about learning Fusion 360, head over to my website at desktopmix.com where I've put together a bunch of courses that have been well structured and precisely planned out from beginner lesson to take you all the way to mastery. You know, because it can get pretty tiring jumping around in YouTubes from tutorial to tutorial. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.